on the thumb for the right glove. We're fixing to go from working a circular pattern to flat because you're going to create the hole for the thumb to go into. And it should be the next seven rows. So knit seven pegs and stop. And we're fixing to create our new starting point. So this is our new starting point. This is where we're going to create the hole. Um, and so don't forget where it is. Now starting knitting back the way you came, knit 12 pegs. It's where you have to do more counting and paying attention to where your thumb hole is since you've changed your, um, your starting point. It's the most challenging part of the pattern actually is the thumb. Now you're going to work your netted pattern a little backwards, so skip a peg, e-wrap, and then um, pull it back the way you came, take the loop, and toss it over, and then lay it over, toss the bottom one over, and then just knit. You're just kind of working it backwards, um, I, I, uh, and you do that um, the last four pegs three times, then stop. And I kind of continued it so you could kind of see how it is to work it backwards. You're right. Creating your right thumb is a little bit more of a challenge than creating your left thumb. So we kind of did that first. Okay, now here's your... Um, starting point you're creating. Now you're going to start working back the way you came because remember you're working it flat so you want to knit the next 24 pegs and you'll actually want to do two rows of that so knit one direction go back the other direction because you're working flat rather than circular. So um, there you go. You want to start working back the direction you came. And you'll want to knit. That's your second row. You want to knit your um, second row. And this is, is starting the pattern um, for the thumb. But because it's three rows, you'll get to do one row um, regularly like you've done most of the glove. Um, you should start seeing the thumb opening up, actually. Now you're doing your netted pattern um, the regular way, but knit the first peg before starting, then skip the next peg and do the regular netted pattern four times around. And it's nice when you get to do it the regular way because you get so used to it, you get in, into a rhythm of it. So this should go faster because you've been doing it. Um, I'll admit I don't like doing the right um, thumb area because you do have to do it backwards so it kind of slows you up but you only have to do the pattern twice backwards on the right thumb with the left you only have to do it once so Now knit 10 pegs back to your starting point straight up and make sure you don't pass over your starting point because if you do you ruin your whole thumb area. There's no kind of going uh oh with that. Once you ruin your thumb area you've pretty much ruined so you'll need to undo it. Um, but you're really starting to see the, the starting point to open up again and now you want to um, do two more rows of knit and remember you're working flat so it's back and forth rather than just forward so not too bad um, seeing how it goes back and forth so working flat can you know if you're not ambi, I just switch up 
but you want to repeat the first three rows you did when starting the thumb and that'll complete your thumb area and um, that'll complete it and we'll be able to start on closing it back up so that you can finish wearing it around your hand and that's creating the same look that you did at the beginning of the glove at the base so you're doing the same exact pattern we'll kind of go over it so that you know the section we're working on so what you want to do is knit the first peg and then start your regular knitted pattern four times we're not quite ready to start the actual base we're just kind of wanting to close up the glove now and this pattern kind of helps so you want to do the netted pattern um, for four times and then you'll want to um, knit the rest of the way back to your starting point and then that's when we'll really start on the pattern that we had at the um, the starting of the glove The great thing is, is that you can make this pattern as long and as short as you want. Um, I tend to make um, several of them shorter for uh, some of the performance belly dancing stuff I do. Um, they're really great for a, just a general look without having to go out and buy a pair. Okay, and here you are knitting the rest of the way back. But these are great for if you just like like gloves and you want to wear them and you want to have something unique okay now we're going to start working in a circle again so go ahead and knit 24 pegs for two rows simple go by fast um, but this does close off your thumb area and allows you to work the top part of the glove that hugs the hand back at your starting point don't forget your starting point but now you want to purl 24 pegs for two rows that'll take you a little longer but um, you'll do two rows of it now let's start the nice open spots at the top of the glove like you did at the beginning purl the first then skip and e-wrap the second bring it over toss the bottom loop over lay it on top toss over again and then purl two repeat it skip e-wrap toss over and you'll do this five times or until you get back to your starting point And so we're just about to get back to our starting point here. Okay, and now you want to start purling all pegs for two rows. And we're just about to finish up the glove itself. So once you purl for two rows, um, for one more row, now get your crochet needle. We're going to cast off. This is my preferred way of casting off, but make sure you kind of do it loose. Your hand has to go around this. If you do it too tight, your hand's going to be uncomfortable. So wrap it around, pull through, take the loop off the peg, put it onto the hook, pull through, wrap, pull through, and it, go, it gives a nice finish to do it this way. Place on the needle, pull over, wrap, pull through, and you want to repeat this all the way around.
but yeah, remember to make sure that you kind of do this loosely so that it it won't be too tight on your hand. Um, we're almost finished. Make sure you have your scissors ready for when you're going to cut the yarn so that you can cut it. All right, here we are on our last one. All right, take it off. Get it pulled through. One more. And take your scissors and cut the yarn and pull it through and tighten it. And then what you want to do is you want to weave it in. And so there you have it. You have your right glove. So you're finished with that one. Now it's time to get the left one done. So let's get started on that. To make the left glove, you do exactly the same thing for the bottom arm, the bottom, the arm, and the wrist, exactly the same. And then you're going to work the thumb. Remember, you're going from a circular pattern to a flat pattern. And so that's your new starting point as well as where your thumb hole will be. So go ahead and start knitting um, eight pegs and key and so you'll knit your eight pegs. And then you'll start the netting pattern. So skip the first, e wrap, place over, toss over, wrap, toss, knit the next two. Skip, toss, bring over, toss, wrap, toss, and bring over the next two, and wrap again, toss, bring over, toss, wrap, fairly normal you've done it most of the way now there's your starting point so you want to go back the direction you just came make sure you don't cross it because it's your thumb hole you don't want to screw up on that um, so go back for 24 pegs and straight over knit don't forget your starting point okay now you're back to your starting point um, go back the way you came again because we're working flat and go ahead and do your second row and knit it all the way back to your starting point. Okay. And now you're going to go back the way you came and you're going to do the reverse knitted pattern. So skip the first peg, e-wrap toss over and bring it back to the peg you skipped toss it over and then wrap it back and toss it over and you're gonna knit two and you're gonna do it again skip wrap toss bring the loop over to the first one you skipped toss and wrap around and toss and do two more knits and you're going to do it again now the best way to judge where you're doing the hole is that they should line up in a nice great pattern um, and then you're going to finish knitting your row but they should line up very neatly but knit the rest of the way to your starting point and you should see the hole beginning to open up now knit 24 pegs for two rows forward and back remember we're still working flat this should go fairly fast okay we're coming back. This is our second row. 
All right, now knit 13 pegs, then start normal netting pattern. So 13 pegs. All right, now you want to start your knitting pattern. Skip the first one, take it back, flip over, flip over, knit two. Okay, do it again. Skip, bring it over, toss it over, wrap, toss, knit. Okay, now you're going to work back and forth, knitting two more rows. And this should pretty much um, have done the pattern three times, so you should pretty much finish up on your thumb. Um, now you want to continue working in a circle by knitting 13. And then you're going to pretty much do your netted pattern normally. And so you skip that one, bring it back, and you're going to do that all the way um, around to your starting point. So don't forget your new starting point um, after working the thumb because you can throw the, the, the top of the thumb top of the glove off by having more um, stitches on one side than the other and you don't want an uneven look so always remember where your starting point is when you create a new starting point so that you don't get a lopsided glove and just knit yourself the rest of the way around so uh, repeat 24 pegs, two rows, knit it around. Don't forget where your starting point is. Finish the top of the glove the exact same way as the right glove, and there you have it. You're done. Hope you enjoy your gloves.